Hi guys, my name is Partha Srinivasan. Um, this is the inaugural video uh, for Initial Impressions. Uh, I'm starting off with a really cool product that I've been using for the past couple of weeks, um, thanks to ASUS. You know, we've been talking about mobility and portability a lot on our blog and on my, uh, on my website, uh, which you should check out by the way, the links are right here. Laptops, mobile phones, smartphones, smart devices, tablets. I mean, you have a whole host of products that are available off night. But somebody that, you know, who is in the business um, of moving around and talking to people, making presentations, they're looking for a solution that pretty much covers as much ground as it can across all these devices. Uh, one such device that I have today is the ASUS Transformer Book. Uh, it's basically a two-in-one device. It's a laptop and a tablet. So let's go ahead and open this up and show you. So it's a 10-inch tablet. It's a full HD display and has a detachable keyboard dock. Uh, the keyboard dock in itself is pretty, uh, it's a full uh, keyboard, full quality keyboard. It has a trackpad which with clicks, right click, right click. It works exactly like a computer. And the reason it works exactly like a computer is because the ASUS is a Windows uh, tablet uh, and it runs Windows 8.1 out of the box. So it's a 10.1 inch, in inch display. Um, I've just started it up and you'll see very, how, very soon, very quickly, how quick this boots up um, because it's running on an SSD, has 128 uh, GB of SSD and you see it's already booted up within like three, five seconds. So which is quite cool and you, you can see the Metro interface is quite nice, it's, the colors are popping, it's running a purple uh, interface at the moment. Um, so like I was saying, you know, the T100 combines the use of a 10 inch Windows tablet and when you dock it into uh, the keyboard dock, it actually becomes a full fledged laptop. Now a 10 point inch laptop, 10.1 inch laptop is not a bad size altogether. Uh, I have been using this for the past couple of weeks in lieu of my regular 13 inch and I mean my 13 inch is also in ASUS and I have found a lot of similarities and I think that's one of the big comfort factors I have. I've been using the, the chiclet style keyboard or the island keyboard and they, they feel almost similar. Uh, the fact that it's, it's light, it's about one kilo with the keyboard dock and about 500 grams, 550 grams with, uh, without the keyboard dock. It's fairly light, so I can, it's actually mobile, I can pick it up and go, and it has a really long battery life. They say on the box that it's about nine hours of battery. The device in itself is brilliant. I mean, the fact that it has Windows 8, and these guys are bundling a whole bunch of software already inbuilt. And um, the fact that it has Windows 8.1 means the start button is right there. It's, it's got a nice big display. Um, I'm not really straining my eyes to have, you know, to see what's in there. Uh, in terms of specifications, and, and as you can see, it's rather easy to use because it's a full touch interface. Um, let me just go ahead and show you. If you can see that this has is running a Bay Trail uh, processor, quad core processor. It's a 1.3 gigahertz processor, which is no slouch actually. Um, it's it's quite slick. I mean, for a 10 inch running an SSD and about 2 GB of RAM. It's a fairly fast device. It's got uh, onboard graphics capability, which means that I can probably run Photoshop, although I haven't tried it. Uh, I'm fairly sure it won't hang as much if I have to do some light Photoshop, if I have to do some touch-ups to some photographs here or there while I'm on the move, or if, if, I, you know, if I'm traveling and I have taken a lot of photographs while I'm traveling and I need to quickly scan through and upload them. It has inbuilt Wi-Fi, uh, which is fairly fast. It's capable, I, I've actually connected to my five gigahertz uh, connection at home. And it's quite slick, it's quite fast. Uh, the one thing that I really miss is the fact that it doesn't have a SIM card slot. And that's a big pain point. But apart from that, this device is really good. Um, one thing that I wanted to kind of point out, and this is another pain point, is that, well, this has an HD and a micro USB slot out here. So it charges only via the micro USB. Uh, so any cell phone charger will actually charge this device. And it takes about five to six hours to fully charge the battery. Uh, there are no, there are no uh, well, orifices, I was gonna say. that There are no slots for USB or uh, you know for a portable drive, except for the HDMI, which just connects to an external screen. All of that, the USB is actually, there's just one USB 3.0 port right here. Um, 
apart from that, I think uh, the device is phenomenal to use. It's fast. Like I said, the boot up is really quick. Uh, it picks up, you know, I just docked it in while it was on and it kind of beeps saying you've just docked it in your keyboard, uh, which is quite cool. But something that I really like is when you take it out of the dock, and you're using this ta as a tablet, you're in your home processor, you, you actually have a physical start button, which when you press, uh, and I pressed it now, voila, hello, start. The Metro screen just pops up here. And I can press that button again, and it takes me back to the desktop, which is so slick. This is actually available in the market um, exclusively at Sharab DG and Carrefour for a price, they say the retail price is about 1699 but uh, when I last checked at Jitex, they were giving it for 1599 and then a whole bunch of goodies packed up with it. So don't take my word for it. Jump to the nearest shop if you're looking for a device that's portable and has a keyboard dock. Uh, I highly recommend the Asus T100 because it's, uh, it's light, uh, it's functional, it has a good battery life and it will really do away with the big monster that I have as a laptop sitting right behind it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Again, um, we are on Facebook. Uh, Twitter and uh, our website is going to be right here as well uh, Do share us your feedback uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, Let us know your feedback if there's anything else that you want to see on the video or what you have liked or not liked about this video. Thank you for watching